Yar, it's a pirate's life for me as we hit the high seas. Hello, my fellow moviegoers. Chris is back with the movie chair. And welcome to Flashback Friday Review. Today, we're going all the way back to the year 2006 to take a look at the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Man's Chest. But before we do, a quick reminder that if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel because your support is very crucial to the success of this channel. So anyway, Dead Man's Chest, the follow-up to the highly successful Curse of the Black Pearl. In this movie, our good friend Jack Sparrow is on the run from Davy Jones and his crocodile ship full of cursed crew members. Because hey, the cursed crew thing worked in the first movie, right? So let's do it again! Plus, Will and Elizabeth were set to be married at the beginning of this movie, but their wedding was cancelled due to a rain delay. And some other circumstances as well. Anyway, pretty much their wedding is cancelled because we have to go on a big adventure in order to save Will, to save Elizabeth, and to save Jack as well. Yeah, that's right, the story jumps around between the characters where Elizabeth is trying to find and save Will, Will is trying to find and save Elizabeth, and Jack, well, Jack's just trying to save himself. The story sounds good and all, but they do kind of rely on some jokes from the first movie too much, such as the dog with the key, and that joke about, you know, I'm here because of the sea turtles. I'm not really fond of that, really, because it just seems like trying to call back from the first one's success. Character-wise, all your favorites come back. You got Will, you got Elizabeth, you got Jack Sparrow, you got the guy who Elizabeth was going to marry in the first one, you got some members of the Black Pearl in this one as well, and they pretty much have, like, all the same characteristics that you remember in the first one. However, Jack does not steal the show in this movie. No, no, no. That honor goes to Davy Jones. And no, I don't mean this Davy Jones. I'm talking about that Davy Jones. And if you don't get that joke, either ask your parents or grandparents or look it up online. You'll get it. But anyway, he's like this creepy, squid-like creature. But he speaks very proper English. Even when he's threatening to kill you by saying lines like, Do you feel death? While smoking his favorite pipe. And let's not forget about his little pet, the Kraken, that can destroy ships with a single bound. Now, this film did try to go a little bit darker than Curse of the Black Pearl, in my opinion. Because, let's face it, you have Davy Jones being the captain of this ship, and he's supposed to help sailors who die out in the ocean travel to the afterlife, but instead he actually takes them for himself and actually has these dead crew members man his ship, and one of them actually includes Will Turtle's father. Plus the idea of Jones having his heart cut out of him and being kept in a treasure chest in a beach as well. Because, you know, you get that, right? I mean, you keep your heart in your chest right here, he keeps it in a treasure chest on a beach. You get the idea. But other than these aspects of the story trying to keep the movie darker, the music really helps set the tone for this being a more darker film. Particularly, two tracks that I really liked from this film. One just titled Davy Jones, and the other one entitled The Kraken. Hans Zimmer does a fantastic job with adding the organs to these songs, and also keeping these songs sounding like that piratey sound, as I like to call it. The part of this film that just really shivered my timbers too much is the fact that they added Barbosa back at the end, brought him back from the dead. Now don't get me wrong, I love the Barbosa character when we saw him in the first movie, but bringing him back in the second movie was like the writer's way of saying, oh my gosh, we killed off this character and we liked him too much. We want to see him again. What can we do? So pretty much you create a Barbosa ex machida scene at the end where he just comes back and says, Tell me, where is the whereabouts of my ship? And it's like he has no ill wills towards Will or Elizabeth from what happened in the first movie. He doesn't want to kill him or anything like that. It's almost like, okay, he's now more like a protagonist for really no particular reason. I mean, other than all this, the movie's fun. You should have fun watching it. Don't try to hold it up to the expectations that you had with Curse of the Black Pearl, because they probably won't be met. Just enjoy the ride of this one, because that's what I do. Anyway, what did you guys think of Dead Man's Chest? Did you enjoy this movie when it came out? Did you get to see it in movie theaters? I would love to hear your stories down there in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you enjoyed my video, please give it a like, and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the Flashback Friday reviews, movie trailer reactions, and movie news updates. Alright my friends, that's all the time we have for today. I'll be seeing you guys later, and I'll save you a movie chair for the next video.